this is uh, Venice. So. Can you find the... Yes, and looking across a pedestrian bridge up toward the bridge of size that goes between the Doge's palace and his prison. And as you can see, perhaps there are bars still on those prison walls. We're shooting this from inside the bridge of size that connects the Doge's palace to the prisons next to it. So we are up on the bridge of size looking out uh, over the canal towards the water. Prison. Is it a prison again? the Grand Canal. This is a leading tower. Gondola. This is a shot going up the Rialto Bridge in Venice. The Rialto Bridge is the best known of the Venetian bridges. And it looks a lot better on this side than at least from looking at it from uh, a few feet further off. And from the outside it was looking kind of scruffy. But here you see a lot of nice uh, open shops. So that's where we're going to go. We're going to stroll up and over the bridge. When trying to find your way around in Venice, uh, very often you'll need to refer to the direction signs, which are uh, up on the sides of the buildings, corners of the buildings. They'll tell you which way to go to get to certain landmarks. Uh, and in this case, if you want to get to the Piazzale Roma, you could go left, or if you look closely, you could go right. We found that a bit amusing, but it is the case that Venice has many um, narrow and not straight streets, so there are cases in which it doesn't much matter which way you go because they will come out to the same place in the end. So this is the Mano Rail. Also known as People Mover, that goes from the cruise terminals uh, to uh, Piazzale Roma, which is right outside the, uh, Ven the Venice that you want to visit. Okay, I'm just taking video.
This is one of the many decorated ceilings you can find in the Doge's Palace. And we've included it just uh, to show that while the Sistine Chapel is, of course, the best known of the uh, painted decorated ceilings, you can find many elaborate ceilings in palaces and museums in various parts of Europe. Apparato stations with the yellow, yellow and white on there. That's where the water boats stop. Oh my God! Awesome. So here comes sure. up. We're coming up to another Vaporetto station, the what? yellow and white. Okay, and you can see there's some loaded uh, water boats there, water buses. That's what the Vaporetto are. They're public transportation on the water in Venice. You don't have to be so serious and formal all the time. Okay, we're going by a large structure. With a big domey thing on the top. And you can see this is the bridge bridges, you can see the other Vaporetto station. So these go Vaporettos go all around the, the canals uh, to take you to different places in Venice just as a bus might in another city. Uh, how much does it cost? Well, that depends on where you're going to. From the cruise pier to the main square in San Marco was eight euro one way. Yeah, 15 for round trip. This is the upper right -o. See, there's a front, there's a, a display showing you where to go. Vaporetto. Is this is a Vaporetto. We're taking. Okay. 